Hey everybody, welcome back to another grilling video and today we're doing a nice quick and simple one. We are going to be doing some grilled shrimp. Now, you can always grill it right down on the grates over a gas grill or over a pellet smoker. You can even do it on your blackstone, but we're going to be doing this in a small frying pan. We're doing that because it's just a little easier to saute the flavors we want. So for example, we're going to do three different flavors of shrimp today. We're going to do a nice uh, garlic butter shrimp. We're also going to do a lao gao man. If you haven't had this, it's um, crispy chili flakes. It's an Asian spice dish. Really, really good. Gives everything a nice kick. And then we're going to do some jerk shrimp. So we'll do a little bit of each and it'll be perfect in a little seven or eight inch um, frying pan or skillet that will just heat up right on the blackstone. Now I'm going to be using an aluminum pan and I'm doing that because aluminum will coat up and down with the flame and temperature. It doesn't retain the same temperature off in it. It will fluctuate up with a higher temperature and come down with a lower. But because I'm going to be doing it right on top of the Blackstone griddle, that will have a nice even temperature all the way across. It'll be a perfect way to go ahead and contain everything right into one little pot. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, before we do, let me uh, talk about this. I'm using fairly large shrimp. I'm using 21 to 30 um, pieces per pound. That's the size I like. You can go with one larger. That's even better. But frankly, I got this kind. I just think it's going to work good for us today. I forgot and didn't recognize this when I first started. I'm using a, um, a peeled and deveined shrimp. Now, what's interesting is this is definitely the way you want to get these, whether you do it yourself or you buy them this way. The first thing you notice is there's no shell or no tail on it. Also, there's a small slit in the outer curve of this. What they do is they put a slit in it and they actually remove the vein, which is really its intestinal tract. But that is a nice, quick, and easy way to do it. it means this video is going to be nice and speedy. So let's start with the very first one we're going to do, and we're going to do butter and garlic. So I'm just going to go ahead and get, oh, let's say about eight or so of these shrimp. And we'll be using some garlic and some butter and our shrimp. That's it. Let's get to the Blackstone, show you how quick and easy this is to prepare. Shrimp take about two minutes or so per side. Really, really speedy. All right, so got this warmed up. I'm getting on nice low heat here. It's enough to melt our butter. That's what we're looking to do. You'll notice I have about a whole tablespoon of butter in there, quite a bit. Now this butter just about melted down. We're going to go ahead and just throw our garlic in here. Put two to three teaspoons in there, a tablespoon of it. All right, so we're just going to get this nice and heated up and sauteed for a bit before we throw our shrimp in there. Not long though, I think that's probably just enough time. And we'll go ahead and put our eight shrimp that we had for this right in the pan. Single layer is all we're looking for here. And when these guys are looking like they're almost done, about two minutes, we want to flip them over. It's just what we want to see right there. Scoot these to one side. We want to get this garlic nice and spread throughout these guys. These guys are looking good. That is looking good. Nice little shrimp scampi. All right, with those all cooked up, it's now time to go ahead and use some of our lao gao mount. I'll show you how we prep this in the pan. We've got, again, another eight shrimp or so, a little bit of this lao gao mount, and we're going to go ahead and get that crispy fried right up. All right. Next dab of butter for the next grouping of it. For this one, we're going to be using this lao gao mound. Make sure you mix this up, but it's essentially spicy chilies. Do not need a lot of this. We're just going to take, oh, about a half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half. That will be more than enough. You'll see that red color immediately with this. And begin to smell that aroma. Right, with this nice and warm, let's go ahead and get our next eight shrimp in here. Single file, laid out. Let's see if you can see this. You can see the tails almost getting a little bit opaque, not quite. So these need just another minute or so on this side. But if we were to pick it up, yeah, it definitely needs another side. It's, it, it's about a third of the way up the shrimp. So we want to go until it's a little bit more than half the way up, the cooked portion. 
Now you can see these are just about done, so we'll just flip these guys over. Look at that color on there from that Lagaman. Crispy chili seasoning, you might see it by another name, but I've only seen this one brand, primarily in Asian grocery stores. <clears throat> We're just gonna go about one minute, if that, on this other side. Over here, yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you wanna see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. Now let's go ahead and get these shrimp right out of there. These look phenomenal. You notice I'm leaving some of that liquid in there because I have a couple of extra shrimp. I think I'm gonna cook the rest of them up this way. And last but not least, and this is, this is one of my favorites, uh, it just brings me back to Jamaica and I just love going there. We've got our Jamaican jerk seasoning. I'm using Walkerwood Mild. You can get mild or spicy, whichever you prefer. And again, another eight shrimp in our bowl. So let's get these cooked up and we'll have our third variety. And you'll notice I wiped the pan out, but I didn't bother completely cleaning it. The reality is we're just gonna be doing another shrimp dish. And this one is gonna be the jerk seasoning, which is gonna be way more flavorful and has garlic in it. So a little bit of that garlic left in the pan certainly won't hurt anything at all. So what we're gonna do is a little, use a little bit of this uh, mild jerk seasoning. This one happens to be Grace brand. There's also a Walker's Wood brand that I really like as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this right into the pan itself. Just mix that around a bit. Because shrimp is a fairly delicate flavor, we don't have to put much of this in here. wonderful jerk seasoning going on and now I'm gonna drop our shrimp right in there same thing as we did before just want to work this around get a little bit of that sauce on it and I'm, I'm not flipping them over yet I'm not tossing them in completely I want to be able to see the other side of it so I can start to see when these get a little bit more opaque give these guys just a little bit of a mix around We're about a minute and a half in or so. We're gonna go ahead and flip these guys. These guys go for just a couple more minutes. These are looking good and ready. I'm just go ahead and get these jerk shrimp right down here onto a plate. I know all in the presentation, right? But I'm just dumping her on there. All right, so now it's time, and the question is, which do we try first? How about we just do it in the order we cook them? So let's start here with garlic butter, our scampi shrimp. The shrimp is cooked perfectly. That would be phenomenal over a little bit of linguine or some spaghetti. It would make a great Italian dish, a scampi dish. Let's go for a bit of this jerk seasoning here. I have a feeling this one's gonna be a little bit spicy. Again, the shrimp is cooked perfect. It's not dry, it's not tough, it's really good. I will say, all this extra jerk seasoning on it gives it a little bit of a kick for sure. If I did this again, I would pull these out away from that shrimp, uh, sh a jerk sauce that's sitting there. The last one is gonna be our Laogao Man. It's got a couple of these little spicy chilies on it, but this is gonna be good. That's really nice. Again, shrimp cooked perfectly. Like I, I am a fan of doing it in a pan on the Blackstone. You can do it right on the Blackstone. It's just hard to control where your liquid is that it's going to cook in. Um, but this, you taste the shrimp really distinctly. And then just after you swallow it, you get that little bit of hit from the, from the chili. Really, really good. That's it, folks. 
This is it, three different varieties, a scampi variety, a Lao Gao Man spicy chili variety, and a jerk variety. I've got a couple more shrimp on, there's a few more in the bag. With that, we'll see you guys safe and happy grilling. This is a quick five or 10 minute meal. Throw these on top of some salad or on top of some rice and you've got a meal. Easy, easy, easy peasy. Bye y'all, safe and happy grilling.